publication, but I shorten now the curriculum that you can start with your uh, speech. You have the podium, Professor Arata. Yeah, thank you very much. This one? Ah, okay. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be here and to make a short talk about the urban transport strategy, uh, the concept and uh, the, some example from Tokyo. So I think uh, I have been studying about urban transportation planning, so that I myself is an urban transport researcher and urban transport planner, so I'm very interested in the transport strategy. I'm very, very interested in the role of transport strategy on such kind of the problems, how can we shape personal mobility for the mega city. So today, the first, uh, the policy objective uh, concept and the uniqueness of the Tokyo metropolitan region and uh, the example of the transport strategies. So in order to make the sustainable transport strategy, we need visions, active participation, and strategic approach. In particular, vision, oops, oh, here. Vision is very important. How to define the uh, sustainable mobility is the main, one of the very important topics, yeah? So sustainable development, you know this famous de uh, definition, and also the many of them are very familiar with this uh, definition of, under the Worldwide Sustainability Mobility Project. Sustainable mobility is the ability to meet society needs to move freely and so on. In my understanding, sustainable mobility, in order to realize sustainable mobility, we try to maximize mobility within the limitation of sustainability. Much more workable definition of sustainable mobility is like that. There is a three E aspect of the sustainability, economy, uh, economy, environment, and society is here, <laughs> or equity, three E aspect. So to reduce traffic conditions, or to reduce global warming gas, or to reduce social exclusion, uh, balanced objectives is needed to uh, realize sustainable mobility. But in this way of explanation, it's a little bit negative because all of this related to the negative externalities of the high car dependence. So we should have much more positive image or a positive mobility design for the future. So in order to that, I would like to return back to the fundamental role of the transport. Transport planning is to provide transport service to support a life like a human being to support a daily life, to go to job, school, shopping, hospitals, uh, hotels, uh, golf courses, for both who can use car and who cannot use car. So to support daily life, yeah, so livable life, livable society, as our the real target. For example, uh, nowadays we can uh, understand the trail of the movement of the people using the GPS equipped uh, phones. It is a Portland case, and this is a, a local city, Japanese local city, support case, support map here, and this is an evening event of the baseball game. So someone very far from the city center, inside his house, and just in time, in time, uh, this baseball game, and just dash go back to, when, go back to his house. But some of them, some, some of them have the much more, what say, the time availability. So they started earlier than that, and they enjoy the, what say, the shopping, or eating, or meeting the friends before uh, joining the event. And many of them the, uh, uh, come into the event to join together. And after joining, they do mm, networking meal or networking <laughs> drink. <laughs> yeah, I understand the network, the meaning of the network yesterday. <laughs> uh, I, I forget that my. <laughs> and, and in order to, uh, and to support this kind of the daily activity is a very important point. Yeah, and the car is very powerful to support this kind of the movement. Because I showed this 
diagrams. Uh, this is uh, the, the space-time the path, or space-time the, uh, the prism. If there is a three hours available, three hours available time uh, going out, uh, go back to the home. If there is uh, some the city center here, and use the bus, access, wait, boarding, and oh, oops, oops. Uh, just a one hour is the maximum shopping time. But if we can use the car, two hours, that's a very big difference. Yeah. So we must create uh, what's a clean of the environmental friendly the personal mobility uh, with uh, IT the technology in order to satisfy continue the, this kind of the great opportunities. But also in the total metropolitan area, we should pay attention for those who cannot use car also. So we want to make some urban structure to support daily life uh, for, uh, for those who cannot use car. This kind of the balanced approach we need. Yeah, so now uh, uh, you go into the Tokyo case. Uh, as you know, Tokyo is a very unique city, uh, rail corridor based urban structure. Uh, actually, the, between here, the Great Kanto earthquake, and between here, the World War II bombing. So, uh, due to the, this uh, two, uh, big event, our the central area of Tokyo was very damaged, and then the, the, the changed to the business center from the formerly the residential area in Edo period. After that, the residential, uh, uh, new residents uh, can find their new houses alongside the railway line. Uh, radical rail line from the city center. So now, as a result, rail corridor-based urban structure and one-centered structure we have. And if we compare Tokyo uh, with New York and Paris, Tokyo also has a very unique characteristics. In the central areas, job density is very high, but the population density is very low. Uh, land price is very high. It's a uh, uh, I cannot buy house in Central Area. <laughs> yeah. So it's a donut phenomena. Due to this kind of the difference, so huge number of the commuters are uh, coming into the Central Area. So we need much more railway lines, railway capacities to support this. So usually the, in commuting from the suburban areas to city center, Japanese people usually don't think about the car commuting. Car, commute, car commuting, it uh, takes much more time and uh, uh, parking is very expensive and it is unreliable travel time so that we use the uh, uh, railway. So in the result, uh, we have the very high railway, uh, uh, high, uh, railway dependence is extremely high. Um, this is uh, the uh, um, fourth person trip survey uh, in 1998. A 50 kilometer radius area, 33 million residents, a yeah, very big um, area. And usually, the, in terms of the modal share, uh, home to work, rail share is uh, uh, less than the 50%. It's including the non motorized mode. But if we take person kilometer, railway moved much more further, much more faster than car. So, the more than 80% of the total movement is a uh, railway. So, very high railway dependence. And you, uh, it is the same figure, Kenwasi, uh, 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 the uh, uh, yesterday the weekend, we, we saw these figures, Asian cities. Density is a very one of the key variables, and density related to the more, uh, energy efficiency. But the, we have the too many people, too many activities in the area, so if uh, same data, if we take per hectare, uh, some of the agency looks not good. Yeah, per hectare, concentration of the energy consumption is too high. That means that we, suffer, uh, we suffered from the very severe traffic uh, conditions here. Yeah. Oops. Hmm? Which, ah, yes. Oh, um, some, something wrong with that. And as a, uh, I, I uh, pick up the uh, other aspect, we should pay much attention to not only the person movement, uh, but also the goods movement here. And 
person movement, uh, the high dependence on the railway, but goods movement, here you can see the oops, uh, truck share is almost 90%, almost all of the internal movement in Tokyo. And uh, here is the central business district, but the, in terms of the ton per kilo, square kilometer, this is a port area or some of the other the location of the large physical distribution center is the core area in terms of the goods movement. So the center is different and the mode share is very much different. So we should pay also attention, not only the person, but also the physical movement. And also with the, the extensive public transport network, even with the extensive public transport network, we have the mobility gap programs, especially for the elderly people here. Uh, this figure shows the uh, trips per day of elderly. Yeah, so yeah, the Japan, Japanese railway, the alongside the railway is uh, relatively high. And also the here or here or here, the private railway. So based on this uh, data, it summarizes here uh, elderly people who live in the zone with the stations and with the car availability makes the 2.7 trips. But the uh, peop uh, elderly people who live in zone with a station and without car availability, he had 1.4. It is the only half. It's a very severe program. So we should pay attention how to uh, alleviate these programs, Tokyo. And in order to that, we uh, always try to the, uh, construct the effective urban transport strategy. Main the uh, elements of the urban structure, transport network, and the TDM. And supply side, demand side, institutional side, uh, all of the package approach is very important. And new technology infrastructure improvement is here. These are the one, uh, vital elements of the total uh, package. So the demand side, supply side, and institutional framework, we should pay, uh, well, we should uh, must find some effective combination of them. Yeah. And the 2020, Tokyo 2020 is a 10 years ago the uh, strategy. At that time, we do not the, uh, use the innovative technology and the very traditional approach. So the multi-centered, a more centered structure and road network. We have the many, many road projects, but we evaluated which is the practical blue one. So we include blue one in our 2020 strategies, road network, and also railway network. Oops. <laughs> railway network, do practical network. And uh, we compare the do nothing scenario and do practical scenario using this kind of the evaluation index and shows the uh, needs of the do practical scenario. That is an example of the CO2 case. Do nothing is a 10% increase, but at Tokyo 2020 practical uh, strategy did, can reduce CO2. And without a new road, without a new rail, without a new TDM, we cannot reduce the CO2. So we need such kind of the combination. And the most recent the, uh, result of the fifth Tokyo person to survey in 2008, there is a new trend, many new trends here. Active elderly, non-active young. Yeah, yeah it's uh, the, yeah, 1978 is uh, this line. So 30, 35, the three, three trips per, uh, per day per person. Here, 65 is a 1.5, it's a half of them. But now, this, this line, this line, this line, here, 2.5, 65, also 2.5. We have many senior professors, <laughs> very active. <laughs> yeah, actually, the total, totally, totally the, the very active areas, yeah. And also the, from the 1988 to 1998, decentralization, uh, multi-core, the, the nuclear, the multi-core uh, uh, urban structure uh, uh, worked during these 10 years. But this 10 years, it doesn't work. Central part become more stronger, much more 
much more high building. Ah, five minutes. I see. Uh, much more high buildings and much more jobs. And so the uh, where I okay five minutes. Okay. <laughs> so I and also the modal split is uh, ex ex uh, ex uh, rail increase and car decrease is typical in the many many words here 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 here. Ten years ago, the only central area, this part, we can we, we could observe the rail increase and the car decrease. Yeah. So we changed our urban structure from world center to nuclear center because some of the nuclear center is uh, too weak. So that we uh, check, uh, select the five uh, strong regional center and other the community centers. And also that we continued uh, to provide the TOD in the, the Tokyo. Uh, so the, here, the many of the, uh, most of the uh, population increase can, uh, could be observed in the TOD. But uh, so the red area, the core area, uh, this uh, dark orange area is uh, the region, regional center areas. Uh, we want to increase the job and uh, related housing uh, to this area. And other area we want to decrease, yeah. And also, so that we don't increase the, uh, at now we don't have the plan to increase the population alongside this, this railway. Because this railway don't have the enough employee centers or commercial, for commercial centers. Actually, the railway mode share is very uh, low uh, in the sum of the railway uh, corridors. So in order to, um, uh, we, we, we must change the, uh, we must create some employee center or the commercial center alongside the railway line uh, for the, in, order, in order to make the, for the people to enjoy the railway-based daily life. Yeah. And uh, this is a physical distribution center. Here, uh, left-hand side is uh, the, hearing, the hearing survey results. Uh, more than 35 the, uh, large companies say that we have the hierarchical uh, physical distribution center system in Tokyo. So we continue uh, this hierarchical physical distribution center system with the new circular line, uh, circular roads. Oh, oops, oops. Uh, here circular. This uh, this area is uh, the based on the computer analysis. This is a very good accessibility for the uh, large physical distribution center. And other other things are next to the uh, large port here. So last one. Uh, so the new urban structure and continuous of the TOD and the circular road and the many uh, clear hierarchical physical distribution center, we would like to introduce a smart mobility network in suburban areas. Yeah, like that. Uh, it is that our the, the campus in the suburban campus, Kasuya campus of the University of Tokyo, it's a little bit far from the rail, new railway lines. So we, inter we make the social experiment of the on-demand bus and community bike system with the mobility management on travel. Uh, this is uh, evaluate the travel the, uh, diary and say that you, 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 provide, uh, you produce uh, a CO2 this amount and your exercise level is uh, too low. Uh, it is uh, not good for your health, such kind of things. Yeah, so uh, it is uh, this kind of the personal mobility we would like to use in this project. And we already uh, uh, cons uh, uh, developed this kind of the activity game in simulators. If you put the, the desirable departure time or the arrival time and the, some destination, the, they, uh, they, this simulation uh, tells us, tells travelers, what, what kind of the alternative route is, or alternative activity is possible, and what kind of travel time, cost time of day, or the CO2 calorie uh, you use. Yeah. And the last slide, aging in community. So it is a very big issue in Japan, aging in community, aging in not post hospitals. Yeah, how to make a a aging people very active in community is a very important uh, uh, target. And within this target, also transportation services are one of them. So we should have some total strategies to realize that. Thank you very much.